scatter plot reveal about the relationship between lean body mass <coughs> and metabolic rate? So, based on the scatter plot, what can you tell me? That's strong Go ahead. A positive association, great. Can anybody elaborate a little bit on that? What does it mean to have a positive relationship? Spencer. It's like a linear progression. <coughs> bigger numbers on the X usually tend to have bigger numbers on the Y. Okay, so this specific a woman who has a higher lean body mass also tends to have a higher metabolic rate. Okay. I heard someone say something about the strength. Is that you? Oh, yeah. Okay, what did you say? Uh, it's strong. It's strong. <laughs> How do you know that? Uh, you can see the, no. there's a line that's close to the right <laughs> You can see that most of these points are going to lie fairly close to the line if we drew a line through there. Okay, so we have decided that there's a positive association. We have decided that it is fairly strong. Is there anything else that you can tell me with just the scatter plot? Isabella said pretty strong. How could we find out how strong? R value. R value. So let's give a little bit more detail to her comment by said, finding our pretty R value. strong. Do we agree with her? Okay. So what is the maximum value for R? Okay, and the absolute minimum? Okay, so this is fairly close to our maximum. That does give us some information to elaborate a little bit on the strength. Okay, my next question for you, and these should be things that you are writing down in your notes for that question. How do you write a line of best fit? Y hat. Good, and then I heard A plus BX. This is in general the format you are going to use. We need to replace our y-intercept and our slope. Can you do that for me, please? Um, 201.16 plus 24x, or it could be 24.03x, If I asked you to define the variables, you would tell me that x represents what in this context? x is their lean body mass, okay? And y hat would be the predicted what? All right, good. That'll put it in the familiar order for you. So those values are still accurate. That's just not what you're used to seeing. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. If you would like to, you could write this equation in another way. If you want to, you could write your equation with context. I know a few of you like to do that. You could say predicted metabolic rate. equals 201.16 plus 24.03 times what? Um, lean body mass. Lean body mass, which is measured in which unit? Kilograms. So for part B, to answer the question, what is the equation for the line of best fit? You have a choice. You can write your equation with variables or you can write your equation in context.